Hello, hello. Let's get started today. Laying on your back, please. Make your way there. Place your feet down on the floor. Nice. Let your chest open up. Rest your palms by your sides or have them face up, palms face up, whichever feels better for you. Nice, once you're here, just feel the weight of the floor, feel your body sinking in towards the ground. Take a steady inhale in through the nose. Cleanse and exhale, let that go. Good, inhale a full breath in. Allow the belly to expand. Audible exhale, release. Good, and then as you lay here, you can close your eyes if they're not already closed. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Noticing the expansion of your chest midsection, finding these big breaths that expand your rib cage in all directions. Good, allow the mind to slow down and then bring yourself into your body. For these next few moments, keep the eyes closed, stay in this moment and let your body be even heavier onto the ground and then once you're comfortable you can start to breathe in and out through the nose if you haven't already so just letting yourself be still here Good. On the inhale, lift your hips high for bridge. Reposition your feet if you need. Good. On the exhale, slowly bring the hips down. We'll add the arms. Inhale, lift the hips up. Lift the arms up and back. And then exhale, lower your hips, lower your arms. Keep going. Inhale, hips up, arms back. Exhale, arms down and hips. You just move and breathe in this way, feeling the strength of the legs, awakening the glutes, the legs, inner thighs, the core, inhale, and then exhale, lower it down. Good. Hug the knees into your chest, rock side to side, massage out the low back. Observe how your inner thighs feel today. Good. And then Come back to center, extend the left leg out to the side, holding onto the inner or outer foot, depending, just the left leg extends. And then hug the knees in. Only the right leg will extend to the side, holding onto your ankle, maybe the foot. Nice, you guys, just settle in, allow the hips to open up. And then hug the knees in. We'll bring both feet to happy baby. Hug your knees into your sides. Really good. Sway side to side here. Good. Inhale the legs up to the wall. So straighten the legs high to the sky. Once you're here, shift your legs forward and back. Forward and back. So feeling the stretch in the hamstrings. Just noticing the core starting to engage those lower abs. Good, one last here. And then find your legs as close as you can to your body, legs straight, and breathe. So you should feel this along the back sides of the legs, really stretching through the back, hamstrings, good. And then hug onto your right ankle, release your left leg to the floor. Once you're here, bend your right knee into your chest. On the exhale, extend. 
Nice. Inhale, bend the right knee. Exhale, extend. Okay, one more. Inhale, bend. And then exhale, extend. Remain here. Point and flex the toes. Just feel the stretch in the back of the right leg. Draw your right leg as close as it feels appropriate. And then we'll take this right leg out to the right side. Find a bit of heaviness here in the left hip. Nice, you guys. One more breath. All right, exhale to your supine twist. Let the leg cross the body. You can bend your right knee here, but straighten out your right arm to the side. And then just feeling the stretch here in the outer hip. Inhale, center. Bring everything in. Legs up the wall once more. Feel the difference there. Point and flex the toes. Maybe shift the legs forward and back, activating those core muscles and then we'll go to the other side so let your right leg come down hold on to the left ankle or calf whatever you can reach find a few moments to point and flex and then from here inhale left knee bends and then exhale extend the leg nice again two more times inhale exhale extend really pressing through that heel when you extend good one more and extend, hold. Perhaps if you have space, you can draw the leg a bit closer. And from here, bend your left knee into, um, actually, instead of bending it, extend your left leg to the left side. There we go. Support your leg using your hand and your elbow. Just stretching out through the inner knee area, inner hamstring. And then from here, take your left leg up to the sky for a supine twist, cross it over the body. Once again, you can bend your knee, keep it straight. Anchor down your left shoulder blade, getting that nice gentle side twist and inhale both legs to center. All right, if you can, please touch your toes here. If you can't touch your toes, bend your knees until you can and then start to pull your toes towards the back Almost like you're going to go for a plow pose, but you're really just trying, trying to stretch your... Yeah, good, Parker. Breathe. And then from here, allow yourself to rock forward and back the length of your spine, and then we'll meet in a boat pose. There's no rush. Take your time, massage the spine, use the core, and then we'll meet in boat. Right, nice. Extend the arms forward. Lean the chest back. Shins are parallel to the floor here. Looking good. Two more breaths. Lean back a bit more. And then cross through the legs. Nice work. Find your tabletop. Once you're here in your tabletop, we'll find a cow pose. Lift the tail, lift the gaze. And then exhale, round and curl. Inhale, tailbone and gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Great, keep moving. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, loosen up the back. Get comfortable here. And then from here, sit the hips back for your child's pose. Elongate through the body. Stretch out through the underarms. Inhale, lift the chest. Find seal pose, roll over the thighs and shine the chest forward. Speaking of seals, I don't know if you guys have seen that video in San Diego with the seals chasing the people. Oh man, exhale, sit back to your child's pose. If you haven't seen it, you have to look it up. It is very scary because they're really fast. Inhale forward and then exhale, sit the hips back. Keep moving like this, warming up your spine, finding that big bend or chest expansion or back bend at the top. On the exhale, you'll sit the hips back for your child's pose. All right, one last time for seal pose, lift. And then from here, Roll onto the thighs, the shins, 
come on the floor, find puppy pose, rest your forehead down, elongate the arms, breathe steady, spread your palms wider here in your puppy pose, and then walk your hands underneath your, your shoulders, lift up, and exhale, downward facing dog, nice oblique hips high. Once you're here, pedal it out, bend one knee, bend the other, connecting to your breath even more here in your down dog. Just seeing if you can yearn the chest towards the thighs. And then inhale, stillness, strong arms, straight legs if possible. Press your chest back, breathe. Inhale, look to the middle, walk to the middle. And then on the inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Your exhale takes you to a forward fold. Bend your knees, let your torso hang heavy. Shake it with yes, shake it no. Good, notice after all that warm up work for our hamstrings, you feel a little bit more open, let the body hang forward over the legs. And then take another halfway lift your inhale, hands to shins this, or ch our thighs this time, lift a bit higher. And then exhale, lower down to your fold. Wrap your peace fingers around your big toes and let your elbows spill to the sides. Two more breaths there. Maybe your chest connects to your thighs here. Nice. And then slowly release. Let's rise up. Inhale, lift the arms high to the sky. On your exhale, hands to your heart space. Let it go. Good, inhale, reach up, arms high. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Biggest one of the day, inhale, servo, arms to the sides. Feel like you're touching all corners of your room. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Walk your feet wider, take your hands to your low back, find a standing back bend here, press your hips forward, take your elbows back in space, breathe. Nice, one more. And then exhale, fold forward all the way down. This time, interlace hands behind you. Shake your head yes or no. Enjoy the spine. Feel spacious, feel expansive in the shoulders. And then inhale, hands to low back. Keep it interlaced. Stand straight up and find a standing back bend, hand interlaced. You can move the forefinger that's in front if you want. Breathing here. And upright your chest. All right. Now take your hands to the right hip, please. And then take your left ear to your left shoulder. Just stretching out through the neck. From here, gaze up. Looking at the upper right corner of your space. And then from here, right ear to the right shoulder. Looking a bit left. Nice. Then from here, look down, chin into chest a bit, and release into a chest expansion, hands behind you, maybe switch the thumb that's in front. And then from here, hands to your left hip. We'll start off with the right ear to the right shoulder. Make sure you're breathing, look up to the left. Good. And then from here, left ear, left shoulder, same hand position, hands to the left hip. Maybe look a little bit to the right. And then from here, chin down to the chest, gaze down. Nice. All right. Inhale, look up, and then arms high to the sky. From here, exhale, go close the arms, chest expansion. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive down. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plank. Step back. Power up the body, strong and steady. Thighs lift. 
Inhale, shift forward. On the exhale, chaturanga. Good. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Shine the chest. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Hips high. Five breaths there. Slow and steady. Inhale, look forward, bend the knee. Exhale, jump to the middle. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, stand up. Exhale, open chest back bend, elbows to the sides. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down, slow and steady. Halfway, breathe in. And exhale, find your chaturanga. You can always take this from the knees. Inhale, upward facing your cobra. Nice form, you guys. Exhale, downward facing dog. Love that pace, Leslie. Five breaths. One more breath. Inhale, look forward, jump to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take your time, inhale, rise, stand up. Exhale to your back bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, flow. Step back, jump back, anything you need. You can always lower down to the knees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, down dog. Four more breaths. Keep refining your down dog. Spiral your arm bones back a bit. Tricep tug in. Nice breath here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump to the top. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, fold. This time, chair pose, bring your feet together. Arms extend. Sit the hips low, glutes pull back. Nice light in the toes. Point your kneecaps forward. And then inhale, stand straight up. Nice Josh. Left hand to right hand to left wrist, take a side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Right, left hand to right wrist, side bend. Good. One more time each side. Inhale. And switch. Good. Inhale, center. And then exhale, squat and curl. Drive down to the floor. Forehead into your knees. It's not going to touch. Just round yourself in a little ball. And then powerful transition here. Press the palms down to the ground for crow pose. Float. If you're working on crow, maybe start with just keeping your toes on the ground. You need that chaturanga arms here. And then head back your way. Step or float. Chaturangas on the knees if you want. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. And then exhale down dog. Great work. Three breaths here. One more. Straighten out those arms. Good. Keep the left heel where it is. Inhale the right leg high. And exhale, step forward. Turn the toes out and the back foot. Rise up for your one. Inhale, elevate the chest. Nice. Good. Just feel out the straightening of that left leg, the yearning down of the hips, and the elevation of the arms. Maybe gaze right and left, trying to loosen up while you deepen your pose. Interlace and I bind you, kind of chest extension. Interlace. Good, keep opening up. And then exhale, humble warrior. Lower the chest down. Support yourself with your thigh. Look back at your left toes. 
or the, the back side of your mat. Take one more breath. On the exhale, left hand down, left heel high, find open twist, right arm up. Then from here, listen carefully, move your left hand forward and turn your toes to the right. So finding this hip opening to the right. Slash side plank if you don't need the left arm. Allow some openness in the hip. Good, open up the shoulders as well, the chest. And exhale, right hand to the ground. Turn the toes all the way to the left side. Find a wide-legged forward fold. Hopefully your feet are lined up. If they're not, we'll, we'll go ahead and assist you. And then from here, just finding your wide-legged fold. Just let the body hang heavy. You can hold on to your ankles. Take the elbows to the sides. And inhale to your halfway lift, lengthen. On the exhale, go back to the front, find mother's lunge. So walk your right foot to the side, lower your left thigh on the ground, your left knee. Settle into the inner thighs here. Nice, so good. Taking these big transitions so you can really open up and release through the lower body. One more inhale in your runner's lunge. And then exhale to your wide-legged half split. Press the right leg straight, just turn the chest forward. Try to lengthen through the spine so it's a rather flat back. And exhale, walk your right foot to the center. Tuck the left toes, elevate it up to, to a L shape, floating warrior three with the legs. And then when you can, lift the arms up and back for your warrior three. If you fall, that's okay. Just touch the left toes down. Nice. So good. Good, 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 Josh. Hands down. Left toes tuck all the way back. Right leg high. And then go ahead for a scorpion or flip dog. You're so strong. You've got the foundation, and then exhale, down dog. Stay here and breathe. Five breaths, try to press your palms firmly. Try to straighten those arms. Two more breaths. Good work, inhale, left leg up, keep the right heel there. Exhale, step forward, right toes turn out, warrior one on the inhale. Relax, settle, elongate, ribs away from hips. Good, feel the stretch in the right leg. Feel the balance, be very Split between both sides of the body, left foot, right foot, front and back. Nice. Feel some feeling in the fingertips, maybe close and open your hands. And chin up a bit. Good, hands behind you, other thumb on top if you remember it. If not, no worries, chest expansion here in warrior one. Good, try to straighten out those arms. Keep peeling the chest open. And exhale, humble warrior, bring it down. Lift the arms. Strong and steady. Gaze back. Hold strong here. Listen carefully, the right hand comes down, right heel lifts, open twist, left arm high, scoot your right toes back if you need. I just want you to have a really long open twist here. And then when you feel prepared, walk your right hand a little bit forward and turn all the toes to the left. Nice. 
Okay, once you're there, elevate those hips. Nice, Leslie, good, breathe, lift the core. And then everyone turn to the right side, to your wide-legged forward fold. Let yourself really fold here. Breathing, let your body be heavy. You can bend your knees as you need. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Good, transfer to the left side, walk all the way to your runner's lunge. Let your left knee bend, right knee comes down, and settle into the hips. Lift the back of the head so that it's not yearning too far forward, so your neck can kind of pull back a bit. And from there, sit back to your half slip. It can be a wide half split just as you are, or you can move your left leg and heel to the center of your mat. Either way, just settling, lowering the chest, feeling the amount of stretch that you want and need. Nice, you guys. All right, bring your left foot to the center now. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, standing splits, rather. Keeping that L shape, nothing too high in the, in the legs. And then when you're ready, use your core strength and your back strength, lift yourself up. Standing into your warrior three. So powerful, that left glute, after all that bridge work. Strong, balanced. Good, right toes all the way back and down. Hand comes down, three-legged dog. Left leg up, and then exhale. Scorpion your leg or flip your dog here. If you're flipping your dog, turn the chest upward. Use the, that side plank strength in the arm. Looking good. And exhale. Back to down dog. Nice work. Take some time there. Five breaths. If you need, you can always take a child pose. You can lower down to your knees. Find cat cow. Otherwise, stay in dog. Good, one last breath. Inhale, look forward, hop or step to the middle. Halfway lift, breathe in, and exhale, fold. All right, keep the feet where they are or bring it together, inhale, chair. Second visit here, arms forward this time instead of up. Use that to maybe sit the hips a bit lower. I'm so strong, you guys. Feel the warmth of the body. Notice the heat building. Inhale, stand straight up. And exhale, back bend here. Inhale, stand up. Right hand to the left wrist, side bend. Inhale, center. And exhale, left hand, right wrist. Inhale, center. Sit back to your, your prayer twist to the right, left elbow to the right thigh here. Try to hug your right shoulder away and your right elbow back. Once you're through, hands to the ground, find side curl or crouch and curl. For side curl, you're gonna to wanna to stack your hips onto your triceps. For crouch and curl, just go here to the center, stretch your neck. Nice, you guys, so strong, wonderful. Inhale, rise up to standing. Find the middle of your mat. And exhale, back bend. Good. Inhale, rise. And exhale, side bend. Left hand holds on to the right wrist. Inhale up. And right hand holds on to the left. Good. Inhale up. And exhale, prayer twist to the left. Right elbow, left thigh. Twist. This is really of a big twist. Getting into your core, obliques, relax your left shoulder away, actively pull it down. Nice. Then from here, you can go crouch and curl or side curl. Give yourself enough room so that you're not squished. For those of you that want to try your strength, try not resting your hip to your tricep. Okay, so 
nice Leslie that's it oh my gosh so good just be strong good unwind everyone let's rise up inhale and then widen your feet as wide as your mat we'll take it down forward fold all right once you're here legs as wide as your mat let your entire torso round forward bend your knees and just let your body hang heavy. Maybe eventually your forearms can touch the ground here. You want to release your spine after that twist. Nice, good. All right, inhale, hands to hips, rise up. Arms overhead, right hand to sacrum, and twist to the right. Let yourself back bend and twist at the same time. Looking for the left or the right corner of your ceiling with your left fingertips. And inhale, center. Left hand, sacrum. Right hand twists all the way around. Try to reach. Try to bend. Good. Inhale, center. Circle it up. Feet together. And exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. You can. Let's find gorilla pose. Slide your hands underneath your feet about hips with distance apart. Compress your wrists with your toes and fold forward. So release the hands slowly. Inhale halfway and then exhale frog pose. Walk your, your hips down, hands to your heart or hands to the mat. Lift the chest. One more breath there. And then exhale, lower the hands, bend the knees, find your forearm plank, step back. So, 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 so strong. Lift the back of the head. Nice, good. So lengthen through the tailbone. Try to make this your best one yet. Keep holding, make your spine long, find the integrity, the hold, the strength in the core, and then exhale to child's pose, sit back, arms forward, rest your arms by your sides, and take a well-deserved rest. Another few breaths here, maybe move your hands to the sides for embryo. Hands to the ground, inhale, rise up, and exhale, down dog. All right, we'll add on, inhale the right leg up, exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. So good, inhale, right leg. Last one, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, center, and then step forward. Rise up, crescent lunge, crescent lunge. Find your balance here. It's a little bit easy to be unbalanced. Settle in, your left heel is straight up to the ceiling. Good. Keep expanding through the breath. And then once your legs are stable, take a hold of the left wrist. Side bend to the right. Stay centered in the legs. Good, inhale, center. Left hand, right wrist, side bend. So good. All right, inhale, center, then exhale, open twist to the right, bend the left knee more, get a bit lower. Expand through the body, the arms, find depth there in the right knee. Good, and then open up windmill, the arms warrior two. Let that go for a moment. Then find your really nice warrior two stance, right heel, left arch, arms extend long. Good, looking so strong, everyone. Spread the right toes. 
don't be afraid to feel the strength in the inner thigh here that twist in the obliques inhale reverse warrior and then exhale extended side angle you're in the torso forward lift the left arm over the left ear here thumb points up nice Josh And then slowly lift up the right arm as well. Hold. There we go. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the right leg. Then walk your left heel a bit in. Exhale to your triangle pose. Slow and steady there, please. Be safe in the knees. Elongate the back of the head. Straight away from the sacrum. Awesome work. Inhale, reverse triangle this time. And then exhale to your half moon pose. Bend the right knee. Launch into your balance. Let your right arm be an anchor. Yes, you guys. Oh, so good. Strong today. And then very slowly release inhale reverse triangle and then take your hands to the hips point the toes forward to the side find a chest expansion exhale bow forward now you chance into raise hands behind you maybe you take standasana tripod headstand if that's safe or you can get into it by floating or just let your body hang forward so good for your spine two more breaths hands to your hips right exhale warrior two to the right right leg listen carefully hands to hips here trust yourself bend into the right knee rise up onto the left tippy toes there we go and then exhale lift your left knee up and then inhale lower to your eagle pose or figure four that left leg goes on top the left arm goes underneath anchor your booty down and sit straighten or point your knees and your elbows forward unwind let it go straighten the legs then fold forward right leg goes high for standing splits right leg three-legged dog step back left leg high option for side plank here right hand lift dog or just scorpion your leg <laughs> stay strong nice you guys oh my gosh you guys are so strong breathe and then exhale either chaturanga or head straight back upward facing the cobra exhale downward facing right away inhale the left leg exhale left knee left tricep inhale left leg up exhale left knee left tricep nice inhale left leg you're so strong. Exhale, left knee, left tricep hold. Then left knee center on the inhale step. And rise all the way up. Crescent lunge. Take your time to find the balance. You might need to scoot your feet back. You might need to put your hands on your hips to ground. Keep breathing, settle a bit deeper, and then we'll go in for the bend. So left hand to right wrist. Good, inhale center, legs stay frozen, and right hand left wrist. Good, great for balance. Inhale center, exhale left arm back, random forward. 
for you, you guys. Try to open up through the chest. There's so much oblique work here. Straighten out the right leg. Bend a bit deeper. And then windmill the arms open where your two right heel comes down. Give yourself that relief. Adjust your feet. Strong arms, even stronger breath. Spread the left toes, spread the fingers. Maybe pull back a bit on the back arm. There we go. You'll feel when you're in the ultimate warrior too because your body will feel so aligned. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Strengthen that, strengthen that right thigh. And exhale, extend to side angle. Lean into it, right arm reaches above your ear, thumb points up. Then if you can a bit, lift yourself and then a left hand extends forward. Unclench everything, toes, jaw and then inhale, reverse triangle. And exhale, triangle pose through, scoot yourself forward. Yes, find so much length. Inhale, lift, reverse, and then take the hands to your hips, turn the toes forward, inhale, chest expansion, on your exhale, bow forward, maybe bend your knees, lower the forearms, maybe straighten the legs, stretch towards your shin, anything that feels good there to you, feels supportive. You can go into prone frog, lowering your inner thighs. And Parker, you're good, everyone. Breathe. And then very slowly lift yourself up. Arms high. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. We'll go for that half moon shape from earlier. Take your time, let's lift, balance. Try to find the center of your foot. Spread the left toes much, much better. It's okay to be a bit imbalanced on the side. Strong, there we go. And then let it rest, reverse. And then take the hands to warrior two to the front. And from here, lift your right heel from the mat, preparing to load up into the left leg. On the exhale, step your right knee up. And on the inhale, transition to your eagle pose. Right arm underneath, right leg on top. Nice, Josh. All right, we're gonna unwind, inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground, standing splits, left leg goes high. Exhale, left toes all the way back, right leg up. Let's go in for that side plank. If you did it on the other side. Whew. God, it's so good. Press, strength, lat strength on the left. And then exhale, take it down, chaturanga. Good, up dog. And exhale. So nice. Down dog. Two more breaths. And lower the knees. All right, have a seat on the heels. Upright the spine. Place one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Just catch your breath. Relax the shoulders, 
upright, your spine back to the head in line here. Two more breaths. Last one. And then steady how you feel. You can do two things right now rise up to camel pose or invert yourself into headstand or pigeon mitrasana. So take your pick. If you're really feeling nice and strong in the core of the legs, go in for your tri for your bed stand. Remember to not hop into the headstand. So simply float. Eventually the leg will lift. Well, okay, slow down. <laughs> slow, slow, slow. There you go. Keeping your thighs strong. If you're in camel, you want to switch or you want to rest, that's fine. Try to slow down. Nice, nice Leslie. That's almost almost there. So good. Lovely work. Beautiful, beautiful Josh. Slow, slow and steady. Good. Grip through the inner thighs. Child's pose, everyone. Let your forehead touch the ground. And then inhale up to your down dog. We'll go in for our pigeon pose. Right leg. Let the hips loosen up here. Let the arms come down. We are given big muscles today. We feel a ton of core, a ton of back, the glutes, a bit of arms, a bit of chaturanga. Take a few more breaths. Inhale, rise, lift the chest, tuck the left toes, elevate the leg, three-legged dog. And then release that, we'll switch, left leg forward for your pigeon, trying to lower the seat or lower your right thigh as close as it can, trying to feel out this left hip stretch. This is one position that we rarely find ourselves in normally in day-to-day -day life, so really leaning into it. Inhale, rise. Right toes tuck. Left leg up. Then very slowly release, slide the legs through. We'll take a boat pose. Elevate the knees. Take your peace fingers around the big toes, extend the legs. Nice. Yeah, good, good. It could be bent a little bit, it can look like this. All right, so wherever you are, Lean forward in the chest, then extend the legs out to a V-shape. Good, bring it in and out. And inhale in. So much forward balancing, inhale. Exhale. Let the legs go, maintain your spine, extend the legs, no hands. So good. Strong. Lower down to your back and take the legs to the sky. Great, now shift forward and back like earlier. Feel, maybe you want to go into flower pose, maybe not. You're just feeling the core. 
or take two more breaths. If you're in plow, you'll slowly bring it right back where we all are here. Fingertips, or rather thumbs underneath the glutes. Stay steady, support yourself with your elbows, full breath in. Exhale, hover the legs. 45 degrees, nice. Four, three, two, nice. One, hug it in, happy baby. Right back where we started, maybe knees a bit more to the side so the inner thigh is more flexible. Then wrap your right knee on top of the left, arms out to a T. And we'll take a supine twist here. Knees of the left, please, right. Let your right shoulder rest. Inhale, center. Unwind. Left leg on top. And then right side. Supine twist. Gaze left. center any final poses here bridge anything else at all if you want to go for a plow now is the time again and then everyone wherever you are release to happy baby and then release down to shavasana two options for shavasana feet together knees wide one hand to heart, one hand to belly, or legs all the way extended. Take your pick here. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Again, breathe in. And exhale. Good, let yourself rest. more breaths. No rush at all. If you want to stay, stay. If you're ready to go forward, you start to move hands, feet, wrists, ankles. Take a big stretch up overhead. And then hug your knees into your chest. Roll to one side. Resting your head on your bicep. Then inhale, seat, rise. Sit up tall here. We'll take a couple neck rolls. Now we'll inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. One last. And we bow towards the main practice. No mic for viewers. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Thank you for putting in your effort and strength and sharing it with everyone else here. I hope you feel good. Drink lots and lots of water. Um, looking forward to seeing you again.